Okay, well, we're getting ready to drive out the remaining bushings, uh, cam shaft but, uh, bearings, and um, here's the tool. There's the one we drove out with a, uh, a socket, which was really dangerous. These are thin bearings, by the way. There's two types, and for this tool, there's two types of seals. Uh, the brown for thin bearings and the black for thick bearings, and what it does is it, it leaves less of a a lip here uh, that's going to actually touch against the bearing surface to push it in or to push them out. Instructions is a sheet in the bottom for bearing inside diameters. Uh, use bearing driver, use washer. Uh, for the uh, rear bearing on the camshaft, it's a 169, so that means we use. Uh, a number one, no expander, and the small washer. And there's two washers. Uh, one comes in the box, there's a small, and the large one's already on. Also, there was an extension on it, but we're not going to need that because uh, you can see here it's sticking out, it's more than long enough. So we're not going to use that. we want to do is uh, make note of where all the holes are in the cam. Now these don't have grooves. They just have a an oil hole. So you just got to make sure at least one of the oil holes in the bearing. That's the one we took out. And we had one oil hole. So you got to make sure the new one goes in and lines up with that. The other thing is the depth. Uh, these are pretty big oil holes, and so the depth should be okay, but I'm looking at all of the other ones, and it looks like they're all uh, about equidistant on each side of what's left of the, of what's left of the, uh, the bearing. So there's the same amount on this side as there's on the other side, but I'm going to mark them too, uh, so that, when I push them in, I know I'm to the right spot. Although with the holes lining up, I should be able to just double check and make sure the hole is centered. The expansion plug is still in there and the bearing. So what we're gonna do is um, fit the correct number one in this case, uh, bearing driver, and we'll drive the bearing out and the uh, rear expansion plug at the same time. And we'll move towards the front of the engine and keep driving them out. And part of the reason we're doing it this way, you can see that it doesn't even go into the bearing, but it helps keep uh, everything centered so we're hitting the rod uh, without it being angled because you've got this at the one end and you've got the bevel at the other end so that helps keep it uh, nice and centered and you can whack on the rod and not worry about it. Yeah, it was just two quick whacks almost I think the first one took it out and so now we can slide it in and we tighten the nut on the back to expand it so it's a nice tight fit with the, uh, the bearing and now you can see the edge is fits really nice uh, and so we'll drive this out and then we'll do the same for the others. Okay, all five bearings out, less than five minutes. I mean, it was super simple. I loved it. Uh, and because these are thin bearings, trying to do that with uh, anything else, I think, you know, a socket or anything, trying to catch that edge would have been a pain. And especially putting them back in, you're not, I don't think you're going to get them in without uh, mushrooming over a little bit somewhere. So, very happy you spent the money for the tool. Uh, we'll put it on eBay and try and sell it. And uh, even if we take a loss, we'll, it would be the same as if we were able to rent this, but nobody rents these. And if we can't, uh, we'll contact the local Votech, the county Votech school, 
and see if the automotive shop could use one, a, a nice uh, cam bearing installer, and if they can, then we'll just donate it to them.